Hey Wendell, I need your help with your answer. I'm a new 3D artist and I'm wondering if 3D render images have demand. Uh, are there enough clients? Is it a good career to continue with? Because I love 3D and I want to make a living with it. And I don't want to waste time and without result at the end. What do you think? Well, let's talk about it. How's it going everyone? This is Wimbo. Today we are going to talk about CGI and the 3D career in the industry. First of all, I want disqualified my expertise. You heard it right, disqualified my expertise in 3D. Simply because I've never worked as a full-time 3D artist in a real 3D production company. I've been a freelancer and business owner for a couple of years running my own studios in the Sydney, Australia. So here are my humble and honest opinions about 3D render images. If 3D render images have demand, are there enough clients? Well, for my experience, no, I don't think so. Simply because I'm mostly working with small to medium sized business owners for this type of services are not super popular in the Sydney areas. It's not because clients doesn't want the CGI render images as you know, the CGI render image is going to have much better quality than the digital photography. And it's not about the clients that doesn't want higher quality of images. They simply just don't know. They're not aware the CGI 3D render images are valuable for them. So you may wonder where the 3D artists were working at. Well, based on my understanding, they're mostly specialized 3D expert and working as employee in these companies. There's nothing wrong working for big companies and they're making really decent money for a living. And that's just not the career I'm working on. I'm a freelancer, I'm running my own business. Because I'm a product photographer, sell images for a living. In my freelance space, I see huge opportunities for CG and a good career for freelance 3D artists. On this YouTube channel and social media, I've been actively promoting photorealistic rendering for product photographer and graphic designers join the 3D community, especially starting with Blender. So if you're looking for 3D jobs, working for a game industry or a 3D production companies, sorry, I'm not the right person to speak with and I have zero experience with it. However, if you think about becoming a freelancer, 3D artist, or adding CGI as your additional services for your existing business, and I would say, hell yes, Get started with Blender. I'm a firm believer that Blender is going to become an industry standard. But not yet, but it's getting there. And it's getting quicker and quicker. Do not hesitate on it. 3D is where the digital art is moving towards. There's no question about it. Is the 3D a good career to continue with? A simple yes or no answers for these questions, I don't think is responsible. No one can 100% guarantee the future and we only have faith. And most of people living in the realities were solely based on other people's illusions. When I was in my 20s, I was constantly looking for validations for the people I was looking up to. Because at that time, in the bottom of my heart, I know I was young, I was dumb. But I also want to be successful. I want to absorb as much as I can from the successful people. I want to listen to what they do and learn what they are doing. I was a decent student back in the United States. I have two bachelor degrees. One is the clinical dietetics. The other one is exercise physiologist. And eventually I became a registered dietitian and the food service manager back in the US. As you can see here, these are the pictures how I look like back in the days. To be honest with you, I was a proud for a couple of years when I started working. I thought I finally made it and I finally start working as a full-time professional and I'm making okay money and to live the lifestyle that I wanted to live. However, my passion in photography started cramping in because I have enough money, I got some spare time, I can actually invest more money in the photography and buying gears and learning tutorials, and buying courses to study what I truly passionate about. However, quickly photography has become a dream. I actually start drifting away from my reality when every time I put my uniform on and start working as a registered dietitian. So at age 27, I know it sounds a little bit late, I made a decision. 
and I want to become a photographer and a full-time image creator and piss off all my family members. Of course, the resistance is not only existing verbally and also financially. At that time, I was working in a job that working from 5 p.m. to 3 a.m. in the morning. Fortunately, I was able to utilize the daytime to study for the online program and also go out there shooting images and assignment to finish my master degree program. It was the exhausting two and a half years in my life. However, I feel alive again. So why do I brought this up? Uh, simply because I don't want to give you a straight answer about the decision you want to make. Because in my life experience and the lessons I learned, I think you should choose a career based on who you are and who you want to become, not the other way around. My families and friends think the registered dietitian is a great career for me, it's very stable and uh, everything seems perfect and logic and making sense for them. However, I'm the person who lived into that reality and I'm not enjoy who I was. So I gotta make a change. S same thing may happen to you if I'm holding such a strong ideas, really saying, oh, the 3D is the one thing you should go for it 100% without really put your thinking and your passion and you as an individual to put into consideration about this big decision you're going to make. I don't think that is responsible. I put everything away, solely answer the question for myself for based on my understanding. Yes, I believe 3D is going to be the future. I'm going to dedicate a lot of my time and energy to working in that space. So come back to the questions. I want to ask you, what do you think? And who do you want to be? And do you have the passion to really working in the 3D industry? Is things going to get hard? It's going to be very, very challenging and difficult. Are you going to give up when things are getting difficult? You're going to sacrifice quite a bit to really achieve stuff that you want. Are you going to enjoy who you are and comfortable of being your true self? If you have all these answers in your mind, you really don't need any validation from others. When people live in the different realities, different backgrounds, they just simply cannot see what you see. What you need to do, just go for it. Just do what you believe. But you know, there will be challenges on the road and you will need to have a strong mindset and the problem solving ability to conquer all these challenges. And I'm firm believers, if you really put your mind in, you will make it. I love 3D and I want to make a living with it. And I don't want to waste time and without result at the end. What do you think? I totally understand. And trust me, I really do. Because I was scared. I was very scared. I was afraid of to let my parents and family down when I decided to change my career. And I was not 100% sure I can make decisions all by my own. Everybody's saying life is so short and I do not want to waste my precious time to doing something that at the end of the result, there's nothing in return. And I want to be successful. If there is a straight answer and the directions that I know, I will put 100% my effort to go in there and to make it happen in my life. I will be successful. However, I never found the person that I can truly believe and to make the decision to make me become successful. I used to very comfortable listening to the authority, my parents, my families to do and do it good for them and become okay to living in a life that they think is good. But I do not enjoy it. I was so lost and so scared and I was just remain where I was. And I kept dreaming and suffering at the same time. Now I'm 35 years old and good news is time is gonna give you all. Again, most people's reality is based on others' illusions. When other people's telling you certain things they cannot do or you shouldn't do that either, it's simply because based on their experience, they summarize the reason and why they cannot do it. It doesn't mean you are 100% not gonna make it either. It just gives you a perspective to think about. It. So do not ever take it personal when somebody tell you you cannot make it. 
and it's just their perception. They summarize their experiences and their capabilities to not doing something, which is totally reasonable and totally true. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't know too much about you, according to what you said. If you really love 3D, you will become a relentless searcher in the 3D space. You are gathering the, all the skills you need. You will figure out a way of living. There is no standard recipe for replicating success. In my life experiences, there is no such a thing as called waste your time. And I believe there's something you will learn from the time period that you think is wasting your time. And all these pain, all this frustration, all this wasting time period is going to teach you another version of lesson about your life. So just to live your life and uh, do something that you enjoy to waste your life. Without all this time you think is you're wasting your time, you would never ever get a clear focus and to really understanding who you are and who you want to be. So just live who you are and stop wasting your time in blunder unless you have any other things to waste your time with. And this is everything I wanna share for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this type of video content, please hit likes and comment and share of course. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.